Alright guys, this is Merced with the Stronghold Games, and today I have a commander deck tech for you. It's a, it's a 1v1 commander, and today I'll be talking about Skullbriar. Uh, it's Golgari colors, it's one of my favorite, co favorite color combinations. Um, I've actually made a joke that I keep swapping out my, my Hallowed Fountains and my Blue, fit, my blue Duels for, for Golgari colors, and uh, I haven't been disappointed so far. So Skullbriar, the, the main idea is, he, is he's a very aggressive general. As you can see, he only costs 2, he has haste, and he gets bigger every time he, he gets a hit in. So a special thing about Skullbriar is usually when a creature gets plus one counters on it, um, you kill it, you bounce it, you know, um, usually they'll go away. Well, with Skullbriar, um, if you exile it or if he dies, you know, you have the option to put him in the command zone and he'll keep all of the all the counters so you don't have to waste all that hard work you put in to get all those counters. So whenever he dies, you pay some more mana, you just keep he, he just basically leaves off where he started. Um, so that's the general on the deck and uh, I guess first I want to show you the... All right, so of course with the with the deck like Skullbriar, you have mana acceleration. So um, I have Mox Diamond; it gives you mana faster, and Chrome Mox. And these two are very special because they uh, they accelerate turn with Skullbriar, which is a very powerful play. I always try to get Skullbriar out turn turn one if possible. Um, there's also a land that lets me do it as well. It's called Gemstone Caverns, and if in case you guys don't know, it's right here. So basically, if you're going second, you can exile a card, get this guy out. Turn one, so you basically cheat another land into play, and these are all these will enable those turn turn one Skullbriars, which is like I said a very very powerful play. Um, other forms of acceleration I have are, are Elvish Mystic, newly from M14. So you can see I got my Jap Four One here, looks pretty sexy. Uh, I have my Lana War Elf, my Elves of Deep Shadow, Death Rite Shaman, probably the best card in Ravnica, best card in Modern right now. Very impressive card. Pick up your place it while you can. And have fire and helps as well. So all of, all of these, they they enable some pretty powerful powerful draws. You can go turn to I don't know Phyrexian Arena or turn to you know Dark Tutelage, uh, get some card advantage going. And I'll be talking about those cards later. But I mean they they there's more powerful stuff you can do than that. But that's just some of the some of the plays I like doing turn two. I like getting my my board established and my card advantage established. And next I have the removal sweep. All right. All right, and so next I got my removal suite. So what I do like about the Skullbriar deck, uh, as opposed to many other generals that people play, is that the amount of remo removal you get to play is, is, is pretty astounding. Uh, a lot of the generals, you know, a lot of the decks revolve around generals, and the power to kill them on sight is pretty powerful. So I have, you know, Dismember, very solid removal spell, Go for Throat, standard removal, uh, Victim of Night as well, Maelstrom Pulse, uh, it's a catch-off for any cards, Disfigure. It's a uh, it's a very cheap, efficient removal. It's one of the cards I'm, I'm pretty sketchy about, but it's it's performed okay, I guess. It's it's not the greatest, but you know, it's cheap removal. You can never complain about that. Putrefy is great. It serves as uh, killing artifacts as well as creatures. Uh, sometimes the regeneration can be can be relevant, but um, it's just a three mana kill a guy, and that's usually good enough in any spot. Um, I also have Diabolic Edict now. Uh, there's a debate between this and Chainer's Edict. Um, I like Chainer's Edict because it has flashback. You can use the effect twice. But the problem is that Chainer's Edict is a sorcery, whereas Diabolic Edict is an instant, and that's really important a lot of the time. So this spot is is in competition with another one. So I don't think I'll play both, but it's it's basically one or the other because the spots are already pretty tight in the deck as well. Uh, Abrupt Decay, uh, one of the most remish, uh, efficient removal spells ever printed. Um, which is very good, very good in this deck. It's, it's good in this deck as it is in modern. And uh, another move spell I have is, is Liliana, and um, uh, second best planeswalker behind Jace probably. She's very good. Um, she she not only makes him remove stuff, she also discards, makes him discards. And this is basically uh, part of the disruption package. And I have I have more removal spells also, or not removal removal spells. Sorry, excuse me. I have uh, discard spells also that go along with this. As I said before, Liliana, she also serves as removal spells uh, to kill off creatures or whatever. Um, but her other purpose is to discard, and that's that's the mode I really like out of her. That's the mode pretty much, you know, that's probably one of the most common modes is just making them disc grind out the resources. So so I have a, a discard package in this deck because it's always good to take out, you know, their, their best card or whatever. Or, you know, if you have a game plan, doing a... You know, a Duress, a Thoughtseize, a Hymn to Turok, or, or an Inquisition. To, to disrupt their plans is always good. Um, these are the best ones available. There, there, there's others like Appetite for Brains, but I don't like the card because it, it only snags out, costs, costs four or greater, and usually, you know, 
Um, the cheaper the deck, the better. So, like, you have a card like Inquisition, which is basically the like the anti appetite for brains. It takes uh, cards three or lower, and that's about the sweet spot, you know, for for any any deck like in like these uh, these one v one decks is that you really just want to snag uh, the early game and like uh, Skullbriar. The the basis behind it is like I said earlier, you just it's real fast right out of the gate. Push you push the advantage early and, and you keep the advantage. Him and Turok is just a solid discard spell. It's two cards at random, so there's a wild factor. It's it's pretty good, you know. You can possibly just take out their lands um, off the off chance and just really screw them over that way. Thought Seize, of course, it's the, probably the best discard spell ever printed. Um, one black, you take it. You take their best card. It's you can't really argue with that. The rest is pretty solid, and you know, Liliana just does everything. And next, I have uh, my weight, my card advantage. So I mess with their stuff, and I get my card advantage. And I said earlier, uh, card advantage is a is a big key to to any 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 strategy. Like e every deck needs to draw cards. Every deck needs to have a way to generate advantage. So like I said, Skullbriar, it it pushes the advantage early, and it you know you keep the advantage. And the way you keep the advantage is with you know with Skull Clamp, um, best equipment spell ever printed. Probably, I mean, you was you was always uh, a close second. But I have the Crenzo's deck too. You'll see that later. But Skull Clamp is definitely just the best equipment ever printed ever. You know, it basically makes it makes Islands unplayable in general. Uh, Dark Confidant, you know, it's it's two one for two. I mean, it, it hits pretty well, and and obviously like the ability is just gross on this card. It's it's been a staple for a while. This card's amazing. One of the best cards in modern. Uh, it's up there with Death Rite Shaman, and yeah, just just a very good card. Um, yeah, just really good. Bitter Blossom. Now this card, now this card is super good. Um, you pay two; it's an enchantment. You know, you keep getting fairies and you keep losing life every turn. But that's not that's negligible to the damage you're gonna do with this card. Against control decks, it's actually unbeatable unless they find a way to deal with with Bitter Blossom. And when you have it with Skull Clamp, like it's just it just gets really dirty after that. Um, very good card. Um, it's in this deck. You know, it's it's just really good. Uh, Night's Whisper is one of the least impressive ones. Um, it's a card I'm not I'm not been real happy about because you still got to spend your turn paying the two mana. You draw two cards, you lose two life. I mean, it's you're just you know you're two for one. It's it's fine. It's decent. Like it, it's a way to generate cards because Skull Prior tends to dump the, dump the hand pretty quick. Um, I have Frixian Arena. Um, it's you pay one life, you draw a card. So it's just a way to generate extra cards. It's it's really good. I have Dark Tutelage. It's kind of the same thing. Dark Tutelage works like Dark Confidant. Um, except it's an enchantment, so it's not as good, but it's not as vulnerable either. So, like, you know, Bob is a beast stick, but this thing, you know, it, it does good at just staying on board. And then we have uh, Civil Library. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of text on this thing as an Italian, but uh, <laughs> basically what it does is uh, at the draw step, you get to draw um, two extra cards, and you get to put to put them back on top. And if you want to keep any of the cards, you pay for life, so you end up drawing, drawing more cards. So, yeah, basically the, the idea behind this is you just keep getting extra cards, and that's... A winning strategy no matter any way you slice it. And next I have some tutors and utility spells coming up.